Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Well, hello, fellow Geminis. I'm a Gemini rising, so I say fellow Geminis. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Gemini. And I apologize, I got my shirt wet. This is for the second half of March, 2021. So this is Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Let's feel it out. See what's popping off for Gemini's. Let's see what we got. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I mean, nonstop. There's a lot of like magnetic attraction and chemistry and beautiful things happening with a lot of you guys. Um, you know, it is spring, right? We're, we're rolling into spring from summer. I mean, from winter. So there's a lot of spring love that's blooming. Ooh. My atoms are attracted to your atoms. My thang throbs for your thang. Attraction. I fucking told you. I mean, technically the card says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. But again, it's magnetic attraction. There is two cards that you got out of all of these cards that both say attraction. Coincidence? I think not. No, that's it for those. So you've got an instance here, a connection where feels like your heart beats really fast. Boom, 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 boom. It's like this. It's almost like a giggly sort of, you know, it's like school crush kind of a feeling like puppy love. The High Priestess and the Stars. High Priestess is secret. Oh, I knew that wasn't that simple. It's a secret. You don't show it or you don't tell them that's how you feel. For some of you, some of you would have no clue that this other person feels this way. You have no idea. He came out with the Stars. Gorgeous card. The Stars is Aquarius destiny fate written in the stars this I, i'm going to use that as your title this is written in the stars this connection this opportunity this person and you this job this whatever this is it's written in the stars it's meant to be it's destined but there's a secret i'm secretly holding back or something is being held back the magician three major arcanas in a row the magician is manifestation the magician is as above so below it's about understanding you have all of the power to manifest you're not lacking someone here is a master manifester also they're really good at law of attraction <sighs> another major arcana temperance temperance is sagittarius energy but that also means patience Someone here is really patient. That's why they are okay, like not letting it be known. Ten of Swords. There's a Celtic cross in here, as you can see. We just had St. Patrick's Day. It's putting something to rest. Something comes to an end. Ten is completions, right? Putting something to rest. Something ends. Nine of Pentacles. It's the end of your singleness for some of you. It's the end of being single. I mean, it is written in the stars. This is faded. You have free will. Don't get me wrong. You have free will. But look at Kang Dangalang coming out. King of Wands, honey. Aries Leo Sag. But he's any sign. It's just someone who's aggressive. They make moves. They're an alpha, they're passionate, they're charismatic. They can be very, very charming. They're gonna charm them thongs off your ass. The Hierophant, I mean, for those of you that were indoor. The Hierophant is Taurus, marriage or commitment. They seek commitment. See, I told you, it's the end of your singlehood for some. 
They seek commitment. It's also, if you notice with the high priestess here, this is counterparts. This would be a masculine and a femi feminine energy coming together that they are both highly spiritual. They're both enlightened, meaning awakened, right? They're enlightened. It's a match. Remember, it's attraction. Match made in heaven over here. My atoms love your atoms. It's chemistry. Knight of Pentacles. This is something that could have been a long time coming. In the making. A long time in the making. Mm, there was, again, willpower for, some, for someone here. They were patient. They were... You know what this was too? It's like a confidence thing about like, I know you're mine. I already know we're meant to be together. So now I'm going to let it be, say la vie. And sort of allowing it to manifest at a, at a particular pace. Because you say, I already know it's, I already know it's you and me in the end. So has that kind of an energy and it's almost like this confidence to it in, in a slight cocky way, but not in a bad way, but to say like, it's, I know it's you and me ready or not you can hide ready or not here i come you can hide i'm gonna find you and make you want me fox sly the sly fox but the the fox in the spirit guides it's a little different than what you think. It's actually a pretty beautiful energy. But for some of you, it's a sly fox. Someone trying to get away with something, trying not to reveal their feelings, right? For some. For some of you, this is the kidding the jackpot. The fox is smart, strong partner or mate, wise teacher. The fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They are quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes don't do well when they slip away. When in balance, it is magical, an ingenious teacher and monogamous. When out of balance, it is sneaky, unsure of their identity. So you see that sneaky behavior and energy that we get from the fox is the low vibration of it. You have high vibration, you have low vibration of everything, right? The light, the dark. So this for some of you is meeting someone at their high vibration, their high fox vibration. And this would be like an amazing partner, honestly. It literally is like two peas in a pod. Two higher vibed people. Remember the high priestess and the higher fit coming together. It's absolutely gorgeous energy. All right, we're going to get a couple of these Oracle cards and we're going to head into your extended reading. You can purchase that by clicking on the link below. I want to thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. If you want to book a reading with me, click on the description box below. Everything you need to know is there to purchase crystal bracelets and to also purchase um, some tickets for my virtual Zoom meet and greets. Go to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. Now, first card you got was lead. And we felt that energy in the King of Wands, Kang Dangalang, as I like to call him. Someone who's a leader. They're aggressive. This in this deck is the Emperor. Someone who takes charge. They're a leader. They are someone who initiates, okay? You also have the heart chakra. So someone here feels it in the heart chakra. This is also heart chakra purging, releasing, activation. A lot of us did heavy work on the heart chakra during Pisces season. And then you also have dedicated effort, someone really putting a lot of time and effort into something. And I feel like it's this energy that they, they want to put time and effort into this connection. They're showing you. You know how sometimes people just talk shit and only say, they, they say a lot, but they don't do nothing. This one is about talking or maybe not at all. And then a lot of doing. They're actually showing via action. is, And that's what's important, right? All right, so let's go ahead and check out your extended version fellow gemini's as i am a gemini rising and we will see what we have for you there okay i'll see you guys later love you